Whoa. Check, check. Can you hear Whoa. me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I can't see your video. Oh, shit. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. I tried this condenser mic, but it's not working right now for some reason. Huh. Is that new? No, it's um, it's like 15 years old, but when I use it in GarageBand, um, it came across way better than this SM58 that I'm holding. Huh. So I was thinking if I use it tonight that it would come across better than this, but it's not even working right now. Yeah, it's a condenser. So, yeah. Yeah, it probably would work better for this perp, for this word, so it doesn't have to be right up on you, you know? Yeah, it's just not working right now it's for some reason. Jam. Well, how's it going, man? Oh, good. How you doing? Pretty good. Cool. <sighs> just got home. I know you like just arrived. How do you have any energy for this? <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling it together. I'm, I'm pulling uh, it well, together. Well, I mean, there's no obligation here. You don't have to like, you know, force this if it's gonna push you into burnout or something. Oh no, that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm cool. down awesome. to do it. That's what I figured. Yeah. You, you got a lot of energy, man. You got way more energy than I do. I do. Yeah, you do. You probably got four times the energy that I do <laughs> at this point in my life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just like how you're able to keep going and going and going. I can't do that, dude. Huh. I need to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I should count that as a blessing. I think so. Yeah. Probably got a lot of energy. Who knows how long it'll last. Yeah, I even got my uh, got my drums mostly set up. If you want to do a jam, yeah, for sure. What you what you got in music wise? What you been doing? Uh, I've been working on this uh, this thing. You know, kind of like a different concept. I don't know. Um, just kind of been developing that idea a little bit. <clears throat> but Which we're one? Gonna, we're working on lyrics, like a like a new idea. Yeah. Well, can we catch up real quick? What? How was yeah, your trip? Sure, like, how was your trip? Was it cool? <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, it's really good. Uh, nice long trip. Covered a lot of ground. Went through like five or six states. Um, cool man. Saw my dad a lot. Awesome. Um, we're in Macomb. Then we're in. Erie, saw Matt and Kaya and Jaren, and uh, it's really good. I had just a lot of a lot of time to chill and see Kaya be a almost two year old, which is awesome. And, That's badass. Um, yeah, Did, went to Erie, Lake Erie, which I'd never been to before. Went in the water oh, a couple cool. times. That was really nice. Yeah, cool. And. Um, Let's see. And then, yeah, I went to Missouri, saw Chase and Becky and their <laughs> son. Yeah. Yeah. And saw Aaron Little for a couple days. Oh, and then How saw Ryan that? Wiley. Nice. When Wiley? Yeah. yeah. Wiley was there for, uh, he does an annual birthday, like, sort of barbecue camp out thing at his parents' place. That's so sick. So. Yeah, that was really cool. No idea. And Chase and Aaron went to that. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there were a bunch of you know, some some people we didn't know, and then some Columbia people that I hadn't seen forever. And cool. Like, do you remember Steven right. Singer? Yeah. Who? Steven Who? Singer. Sounds familiar. Uh, he was in Poop Death. <laughs> I love that. You remember guy. Poop Death? <laughs> yeah, he's the singer, right? Yeah, I think so. I love so. that guy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's yeah. I, I thought that you guys knew each other, so I brought Poop you death. up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what would he say? Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, that, he remembered your name, and he, um, then when I was, so he brought up Jeremy, and I was like, Jeremy, yeah. I think Luke was Jeremy's roommate on yeah. Ninth Street, and they're like, yeah, that sounds right. That was the connection for me with Poop Death. Well, that and Oak, which is so random. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the bass player of Poop Death, I love that. Was Oak in Poop Death too? Yeah, he was the bass player of Poop Death. Oh, that's awesome. I performed with him every once in a while. Did you? 
Well, well, so did Jeremy. I don't know if he was in the band. I can't remember. I never saw Poop Death, so I don't. I just always heard about it. Hilarious. I don't even know what it sounds like. Steven Singer is fucking hilarious. Yeah, that dude's funny. I talked to so, him a lot last night. You were hanging out with him last night. That's so crazy to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so What's funny. He, he like walked now? in. Exactly the same. No way. Fuck, man. Yeah, he walked in and I was like, okay, I Everybody totally know this exactly guy. the same. It drives me nuts. Does Speckman look the same? Yeah. Uh, except he doesn't have dreads anymore. Um, What's he got? Uh, he just cut it all off. Here. It's just like big beard and like he just kind of cuts it off. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, it was weird how Steven walked in and I was like, it just took me a second to fucking lock it in. And I was like, all right, I know this guy, but... <laughs> Columbia, but just mm-hmm. it took me like five to ten seconds to place him. Yeah, you know, he was walking into Wiley's. Yeah, he arrived at Wiley's, and and he knew. I think he had been told in advance who was going to be there, so he was sort of like expecting me. Oh, I see, I see. And he, so he like, I don't know. To me, it was just totally out of the blue. It was like, oh my god, there's a face I haven't seen in fucking yeah. fifteen years. You know, that's so cool that you got to do that. My God, that's so cool. Yeah, we spent like an hour talking about all the ways we've crossed, you know, all the people we both know and all the bands we've both seen and all the crisscross Columbia yeah. pollination, you know. Cool, yeah. You and Steve really Singer? Fun. Yeah. He, okay, can I tell you something about him real quick? Yeah. He was like the golden boy, in my opinion, <laughs> because he he was like what my dad wished he had, probably because... You know, he, he was just resigned to being an electrical engineer. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he had the big brain. Like, it was, like, preordained. And, you know, we came to Mizzou, and we crossed paths, and I was the rebel. You know, I'm, like, trying to be an engineer, but it just couldn't do it, man. Couldn't do it. Failed at yeah. all, you know? Like, or I would learn, like, the entire fucking class in two nights or something. It sucked, you know? So anyway, he was just like, yeah, I'm going to be an electrical engineer. I'm going to be rich. Like, we're going to be rich someday. Um, it's cool. Like, I got this band with Oak. <laughs> <laughs> On bass. Yes. Who knew? Who right. knew? You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's fucking hilarious. This guy is, like, fucking hilarious. God damn. Steven. <laughs> He is really funny. But like, but I was always like jealous of him because because he, he was able to just bite the bullet and just be the goddamn rich middle class engineer guy, and then just like do the music on the side, like my dad wanted me to do, you know. But I'm too possessed by this like need to be creative every second of my life, and I'm just like fucking like throwing away all this opportunity to make a lot of money and then be happy later, I guess. <laughs> you resent yourself for that decision. No, I resent Steve for, <laughs> for uh, being able to just do that and yeah. not be tortured like me. Right, right. This one's for Steve. This is Jameson. Irish yeah, one. give it up. Throw it down for Steve. Yeah, he was one of the people who I met. I met him that last semester of uh, Mizzou when you were already out of there. Mm-hmm. And that's when I started drinking. Yeah. So he and I probably did shots together, you know? Okay. But that's not something that you knew me to do at all, period, you know? Right. I don't know how I knew that you knew him. Just for some reason, I was just like, somehow I knew that you knew him. And I don't, I couldn't think of a, I couldn't think of a single specific reason why I knew that. I was just like, Mm -hmm. I know that Luke knows this guy. (laughs) Yeah, I don't. I don't remember either. Uh, I think that uh, that girl Jesse was was affiliated with them somehow. The one you dated for a minute, brunette, knew Mike yeah. Collins, lived in that apartment down there near downtown. Right. Yeah, she's yeah. the one who you were dating when I came to visit you, probably when we saw Fugazi, and um, yeah, she helped. She helped me make the decision to move down there. Jesse just did. Yeah. The, the really? one you were dating. Yeah. And and also to go back to school. I, I her and Mike Collins were, were kinda influential in my decision to go back to school and to move there and all that shit. Really? What did they say to you? What did she say to you? 
you know, it was just kind of like, it was just kind of, she was just like a really supportive, rad girlfriend. She was like a really cool chick, <clears throat> you know, and she made yeah. it kind of like an easy decision. Like, wow, I moved down here. Like, Jesse and Ryan are together. Like, it's a whole <laughs> situation down here. You know, there's a steak and shake. That was something that I was really, like, staunch about. It needs to be at least Joliet-sized city for me to move. <laughs> yeah. Joliet has a steak and shake. Does Columbia have a steak and shake? Wow, they have a steak and shake in, like, three Walmarts? It's legit. Oh, and, and a mall, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'll move there, I guess. <laughs> and Ryan's and there. Like, maybe we could be in a band together. Right. You know, and his girlfriend's rad, and she's going to, like, help me kind of, like, get connected with everybody. And his, his roommate, Mike, is definitely, like, some character, like, in a, in a beatnik novel that nobody remembers <laughs> the name of, you know. And mm-hmm. I was just like, yes, this is fucking awesome. It's way better than, like playing wah-wah pedal in like an emo band like in Chicago, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like and work in a Radio Shack, uh, you know. Yeah. Selling, selling cell phones. That's funny. Yeah. It's funny that you had that connection to Jesse. I had no, I had no memory of that. It's funny. Well, she, you know, I think you were working when I came into town. And so she kind of uh, took me around a little bit. Okay. You know, like th- your I first you day. Had, you had the job at the U Club, I think, doing dishes or something. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was a full-time thing, I think, for you. So during no, the day... No, it was never full-time. Think, no? No, well, didn't you do the job I did for a little bit? I mean, full-time no, is like never. 30 hours a week? No? I might have got it for 30, yeah. Yeah. That's basically, like, Jimmy was the full-time guy, but then the other, yeah. like, his right hand was the other full-time guy. You know, mm. that, wasn't, that wasn't a senior. So I right. feel like you and I both had that job. I did have the day shift at some point. Yeah. So yeah, at some point I had that. I don't remember the sequence, but I definitely started in the evenings initially. But well, I feel like I don't know. When I started, I felt like you were kind of the pickup guy, <clears throat> picking up shifts. Probably Which is yeah. weird because you got me the job there. I don't know. I don't know for whatever reason Jesse was taking me around a lot when I when I yeah. went to visit you that time. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't know what the reason was. I've completely lost touch with her. Uh, I think she left town at some point. I never, yeah, totally lost touch with her. I'd never seen her on Facebook or anything. Weird, yeah. Yeah. Same, I, I haven't come across her since then either. <laughs> She's like a ghost. Yeah. Now. Yeah, Aaron Little remembers her though. Like, I think he knew her before I did, like maybe in the dorms Aaron, or something. Cool. Yeah. How was it hanging out yeah. with Aaron Little? That was great, yeah. We stayed yeah. at his place. He's got a, he owns a, a house there in St. Louis. and Nice. Uh, it was great. Yeah, stayed up late. And uh, he drove down to the Wileys with us and took us to the airport and shit. It was great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Whew. Yeah, it's still like processing. Like, <laughs> it's such a whirlwind. We just covered so much ground and saw it. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit. I, I feel like it was so long ago that we saw my dad and my brother, but that was really only like three or four days ago. So. That's awesome. Whew. Yeah. Sounds like you had a wonderful time down there. It was really good. Missouri, uh, we had a couple days of actually not very hot weather. And then our final day was hot as balls. Was, oh, really? Oh, brutal weather. But yeah, like that's up, probably a like, good thing. Like during your heat wave kind of weather or worse? Like, like I mean, it was like party kind of weather? Yeah, it was like that. It was like 99. Yeah. You know, totally humid. That was nuts. Yeah. I don't know how we survived, dude. It was 108 degrees. We were just well, we, fucked up. We were Midwest based at the time. Yeah, we all. I wore could I wore it. a long sleeve, uh, like a jean jean type material. What do you call that? Uh, denim. Like, well, I you think were, that's what I wore. You were LA at the time. You flew in from LA for that. Oh, man, I don't know how I did that. I, I think I was not very long in LA though. What, when did you guys? It was 2012. Wait. Oh shit! <laughs> You've been out there no, no, for a no! Long I know time. what it was. I know what it was. It was I was in denial about the fact that I had been putting on weight, so I was just trying to still act like I was like a uh, hundred pound range, you know. <laughs> yes, we're all hiding something. <laughs> yeah, what are you hiding? You're just as you look the same. Oh, I'm you know? I'm hiding all my facial tics and. Uh, 
and oh, yeah. compulsive behaviors. Yes. Is I've, it becoming I've, more uh, accentuated? Uh, is it becoming more hard to control or something? No, it just, I mean, it fluctuates minute by minute, but, uh, I, I didn't um, know at all about that. Yeah. You, that's you so always weird. strike me as a, as somebody who's composed and relaxed. Yeah. That's so weird. I, other people have said that too, of like, you're just so chill or what, something like that. And that's so bizarre. Uh, well, I've just started maybe, telling people about it. Um, yeah. And I, yeah. I've like, I'll tell my, I've, started telling my close friends about it because I'm sick of fucking hiding it. That's just a thing I'm kind of reckoning with right now. It's like, I'm sick of fucking hiding it all the time. I'm just yeah. exhausted. And then I'll tell people, I'll tell people like you and Bill or Justin Brown and, and without fail, everyone's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I've never noticed. Yeah. It's, yeah. and even if I did, I wouldn't care. So right. what's the big deal? Exactly. Yeah. Um, which is really helping me. So I'm just awesome. I just want to like tattoo it on my forehead now. Like I have facial tics. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm yeah. sick of it because it's, it helps me to not be hiding it. You know, like yeah. nobody cares. Cool. Just cool. Yeah. let it go. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you'll have even fucking more energy now. If you just yeah. let these ticks out, let it fly, <laughs> let them yeah. out. Seriously. Who cares? I yeah. think, I think I have a lazy eye. I've been kind of sure. worried about this. Like, look, look, look at the, like my my camera, right? Like, I'm looking at the camera right now. Yeah, is one eye more open open than the other eye? Yeah, for sure. Hate, yeah, fuck, dude, I have a lazy eye. <laughs> fuck, man. Dude, my doctors told me about it my whole life, but I'm just like in denial. You know, I hate it. Ah, oh, I've never noticed. Down it. like at least a full digit, like four or five. Now, like now I'm like a four. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's that just I been doubt. recorded. The, the the confirmation of my lazy eye has been recorded. <laughs> well, you're super pixelated on my screen right now, so I can't really tell. Oh, perfect. I'm not very yeah. pixelated on my screen, so. Oh, God. What are we doing? Are we going to play some music? Let's play some music. We can play, yeah. I played with Kevin. Oh, I saw Kevin Avery, too. We, what I mean, the jammed. fuck? Are you serious? We jammed what for happened? an hour. Tell me about it. I recorded it. it. Fucking recorded what? it. I want to hear it. Hell, yeah. Oh, dude, I'll send it to you. It's, it's, yeah. He's still doing it, man. Um, oh, Kevin Avery, so cool. He's got a bunch of new guitars. And uh, Aaron and I are scheming because Kevin's got boatloads of fucking demos on this little digital Tascam 8-track, 4-tracks and 8-tracks, and he's just, like, loaded them <laughs> up. He's got, like, SD card after SD card full of demos that he's... and But he's a... Um, can't figure out how to export any of them. Yeah. So he's just, like... He's stuck because he's filled up every SD card he can possess yeah. with demos um, that he can't. But and we listen to a bunch and they sound fucking great. Okay, <laughs> he's got these like bedroom recordings of hell yeah, probably fifty different songs. Hell yeah! Um, so we're scheming to produce the great Kevin Avery double oh. album. That's so awesome. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you're going to play, uh, awesome. I would stop this and we can just do it over FaceTime or whatever. Or... Oh, no, no, we don't have to do that. If it's an internet thing, it's okay. Oh, no, just because I'm on the desktop and I've got my drums in the other oh, room. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds good. Gotcha. <laughs> 